Confirmation of Judgment Testimony of Sister Doris Laura Diaz. This is an urgent message for everyone. About two years ago, I started to dream of a large rock coming down out of the sky towards the waters of the Sea of Puerto Rico. In the dream, I said, Oh my God, a rock is falling. And I heard the Lord say, No, it is a meteor, and it is coming to Puerto Rico. Then I saw it fall into the water and hit off a corner of the island. I was so surprised by the magnitude of the impact that I thought the island sank. And I heard the Lord say, No, look at the land. I looked as if I were above the island, and the Lord showed me the dry spots and allowed me to know that the island was not completely underwater. Shortly after this dream, I had a second dream. I dreamed that the army of the United States was going through all the streets and there was persecution everywhere. In the dream, martial law had gone into effect in the country. And recently, in the last three weeks, I have been having recurring dreams of a catastrophe coming to earth, scenes of people crying and experiencing grief and anguish, as if they had lost everything, a feeling as if the world had ended. Dreams of people in grief and crying out to God about a disaster that had taken place. A couple of days later, I dreamed that I was in an apartment on the fifth floor. I looked out the window and saw plenty of water in the street, then looked through a second window and saw huge waves hitting the building's corners and entering into the city, and many people coming out of the building screaming and running, and the waves took them. God has spoken to me, and in these dreams, He is revealing the things that are going to happen. God said to me, Speak about what I will do. This is a warning from God to all who read or listen to this message. God is calling you to listen. This is what the Lord says. There is a meteor that is going to hit the sea by Puerto Rico. It will cause high levels of water and reach all the coasts around the island. They will be hit by a tsunami. Millions of people will die, and the water will be polluted because of the corpses, causing cholera and many other diseases. This is a call to those who are reading this message. The trials described in the Bible, the judgments, and that are going to happen before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ are here. Repent of your sins and pray to God in the name of Jesus. I am obeying God by delivering his message, as he had commanded me to do. Seek God and ask him to confirm all that I say in this message. He will reveal that it comes from him. Those who pray and truly repent will hear from God. God will save and prepare those who call upon his name. Know that millions will die, and it is of utmost importance to seek the guidance of God in prayer. This is the time to pray and seek God while He can be found. Pray, and God will reveal to you what you have to do concerning whether or not to move from your area. Stocking and storing of food, medication, supplies. Do not be afraid, but have faith and trust, because the Lord will send His angels to protect His children. God is alerting you ahead of time because he loves you and does not want you to perish. Sister Doris Laura Diaz Note from the page managers. For a long time the Lord has been confirming this judgment as well as his soon return to countless servants, watchmen, children, people of all ages, even to non-believers and of many nationalities. Many of them had already received revelations, dreams, and visions before Ephraim Rodriguez or other prophets started to speak of this judgment. It is not possible that everyone has just come up with the same story. It is a judgment prior to the judgments described in the book of Revelation to prepare and cleanse the church for a pre-tribulation rapture. This judgment is not wormwood and it is not part of the Great Tribulation. 
This is what the original asteroid prophecy confirmed to countless souls declared. Even now, many of you who now hear this message have received dreams, revelations, and confirmations. You know it, and yet many of you have remained silent out of fear of the opinion of your pastor, congregation, family, spouse, friends, or because you prefer to think that it was all your imagination. Read Ezekiel 33 and sound the alarm. Seek the Lord while he can be found. Return to his arms. Alert and warn others. There is no hope for this outside of Jesus Christ. Don't trust that you will go in the rapture and that you will not see any judgment simply because you say, Lord, Lord. Many times in the Bible, God warned his people before his judgment so they would repent and be prepared. God is love, but he is also a consuming fire against sin and evil. Humble yourself before him and ask him if this warning does indeed come from him. We stand nothing to gain materially from this, brethren. This is for your own good, for your soul, and that of your loved ones. Any future dates given in social media for this year 2016 or for the following years as the date for the fall of the asteroid do not come from this ministry. Please check all the links in the description box below the video, including an apology and explanation for the 2014 time frame date fail for the fall of the asteroid. If you wish to receive the prophetic documents related to this prophecy and its original message, list of supplies, prayers, flyers so you can print and distribute, instructions on how to anoint your home, biblical precedents of divine protection, and much more, please write to asteroidprophecy at gmail.com to request them. We will send them to you via email so you can print them out, photocopy, and distribute them. May God keep you. We love you in Christ and prepare, brethren. First, spiritually, by clinging only and putting all your faith in Jesus Christ only, and then materially, by stocking up on supplies, canned goods, food, medications, etc. Ask the Holy Spirit for confirmation and guidance through all of this. We love you in Christ. Amen.